Gateway Premium Gold Diamond White Collagen helps to provide sun protection and skin whitening. Derived from non-GMO tomatoes for maximum efficacy. Time. Brought to you by Holistic Way. 9 p.m. This is News Tonight. Good evening, I'm Angela Lim. In tonight's top stories, ensuring public transport remains affordable. Tweaks are being made to the fare adjustment formula in a bid to reduce price volatility for commuters. Dengue cases down by around 30% in the past quarter, compared to the same period last year. However, authorities are still urging vigilance ahead of dengue season. And South Korean leader Yoon Sung yeol arrives in the US ahead of a summit with President Joe Biden, boosting American deterrence against an increasingly nuclear North expected to top the agenda. And also tonight, the employment rate for those from private education institutions jumps to its highest in five years, with many also earning more than before. The Public Transport Council is adjusting the formula used to calculate annual price adjustments of public transport fares. This is part of a bid to reduce volatility of fare changes and ensure prices remain affordable for commuters. The Transport Ministry has accepted the recommendations. Geraldine Yap with more. The current fare adjustment formula has been used since 2018 to derive the maximum public transport fare hike allowed. The first three components are indices reflecting core inflation, wage and energy costs. These will be retained as they continue to reflect the operating cost structure. A new capacity adjustment factor will be introduced based on actual and planned capacity improvements from 2020 to 2026. This will be set at 1.1% for the next five years. It replaces the network capacity factor, which had seen huge fluctuations over the last few years and was excluded from last year's fair review. 